morning we've been talking about the strike embarked on by the Ghana National Association of Teachers, uh, NAGRAT, and also Coalition of Concerned Teachers, Ghana. And they are saying that there are some legacy arrears that are owed, uh, have been owed since 2012 to 2016. And they've tried to negotiate with government, tried to interact with government. They gave them a deadline of December 5th um, and nothing happened. And so they decided to embark on a strike. GES, however, issued a statement expressing shock um, at the decision of the Teachers Union of Ghana on embarking on the strike. And so in the studios today, I have with me Mr. Kwamina Ahina Kwashi, and he is the head of compensation and working conditions, Ghana National Association of Teachers. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Good morning. I don't know how people are taking the strike, but clearly if you um, look at the comments across board, a lot more people are worried about the children because, you know, exams is starting today. Was this the best time to embark on the strike? Uh, thank you. And, All right. And then <laughs> the way you have started, you have <laughs> put me off balance. I'm sorry. Because we are starting with the children. Yes. It's, it's unfortunate that uh, this thing we had to end like wh where we are now. Mm. It's very unfortunate. But I think that it is important for us to send a message okay. to whoever is responsible for this. See, one, one thing I've observed in this country is that people, people don't take responsibility for, for, for certain things that they do. Mm -hmm. And in this particular instance, you see, GES has not done well. Why have they not done well? They have not done well because we have had meetings upon meetings about this legacy arrest. Mm -hmm. And the initial roadmap we had was that the legacy arrest from 2012 to September 2016 mm -hmm. will be paid after they have paid uh, October salaries okay. as a supplementary. And that will be paid somewhere between the middle of November. When you say October salaries, October 2019 October salaries. 2019 salaries. Okay, all right. You see, then we had another batch of arrests, mm -hmm. which is from October 2016 to December 2018. Mm. That would also have been paid at the end of November when they have paid their November salaries, mm. then they will pay it as a supplementary PV. All right. And that will also happen around middle of December. Mm -hmm. So that after a week, then they pay their normal December salaries. Okay. Good. So controller was working towards that. Mm -hmm. And they provided this data for the payment of the uh, first batch, All which right. is for the legacy from 2012 to 2016. Mm -hmm. Good. They gave them the data on 9th November, 2019. All right. I was invited to the GES office. I went there and the number of teachers have been invited there. And that was around 6.30. Mm -hmm. That's a, ah, why? Mm -hmm. Are you going through another verification? They said. Then they said they have observed some anomalies. I said, fine. If I've observed anomalies, put those ones aside. Ask controller to effect the payment. Okay. Because any delay will disrupt the entire program that we have for the payment of these arrears. All right. And that's they, they And they didn't listen to me. Was it because they needed because clearly they have stated that after they spotted these anomalies they needed some time um you know to verify the data to audit What's and the data again. The, the data is before you we have observed those anomalies within the data. What verification they Were you doing? were you aware of these anomalies before they called you in? I wasn't aware. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That You see, the process was that these things have been already been verified by Ghana Audit Service. All right. And the list was given to Minister of Finance. Mm -hmm. Minister of Finance forwarded it to Controller because they have the payroll mm -hmm. uh, uh, data or history. Yeah. So Controller worked on it and then sent it to GS just for a review. Yeah. And then forward it back to them to, to effect the payment. Mm -hmm. So granted that this was a salary that they have asked them to do a review. Would they have delayed for one month? What do you think could have been the issue? Is there no money? What really is the problem? There's, there is money for the payment of the... It how, is just that GS is money? delayed. How do you but know if they, if, money? If they don't have money, will controller prepare the PVs for, for mm. his payment? They okay. wouldn't. Now, now, GES is saying that they've paid about 95% of the total stuff. Um, so they don't understand why the remaining 5% is the reason why you would embark on a strike at this very juncture where students are going to be writing exams and all of that. They yes, thought that you could have been patient. Yes, I did. So. They are, my information is that they have written to all their districts from, I think, KGO to 
uh, junior high school also that they should not even write exams, timely exams for this day, because mm -hmm. there's no money. They sent a letter? Um, yes, that is my information. Letters have been sent out. There's no money to write exams. You say government is supposed to give them, what is it, captation grant or yeah. so to enable them to yeah. organize their exams. The monies have not gone. So and they are not allowing the teachers also to take the money from the parents of their children. So what are, what are, what are, what are they saying? Are they serious? Yes. Okay. Let, in any case, let me, let's go to the figures. Mm -hmm. All right. So it says that 120,232 of you Good. Um, are the affected are people. For, yeah. And they claim that they have paid 87,556. Yes. Now, when you do the simple arrangement by minus, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you get 32,676. Okay. And is that 95? Is that, is that, Clearly is not. that, is Clearly that, not. is that 5%? Yeah. But they also mentioned that uh, the service received another set of data from the controller and accountant general uh, covering 1,847 personnel who were to be paid the salary arrears. I don't believe all those things, madam. You see, I don't believe all those things. Why do you say they've put out figures? But the figures are, we are challenging the figures. You said 120,232. You have paid 87,000. And you say that is 95%. Nine, 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 mm -hmm. And then we agree. So that then clearly said, is an error, yes. Yeah, so so all the, so that's why I'm saying that for me, all those things that they are putting down, I don't believe them. So you just think that they are throwing dust they into our eyes? They are just throwing dust into our eyes. See, in any case, see, if you read their statement, yeah. they say that a careful examination meant that if they have gone ahead, they mm -hmm. have paid in excess of about 11 million. Yeah. Now, bottom down there, you find another statement which says that they are still, I mean, doing some we're cleaning. Yeah, cleaning yes. So so if you have not finished with the cleaning, why do you put that data out there okay. for our consumption? Because maybe they wanted to put this out for people to at least have an idea, idea of, what? of what they are working so on. So over far. one month you cannot do work if you claim it's thousand eight hundred, you mm -hmm. can't work on this data. Mm. Is that what they are telling us? All right. L let's go to the anomalies because there are some people that they claim have been paid double um, you know, the arrears. And these are some of the reasons. So I'll read them again. So it says some of the personnel were to be paid an undeserved rank. Madam, it's not true. You see, let me tell you the history of this. Okay. You see, at that time, the district directors were recruiting people with a recourse to uh, Minister of Finance, financial clearance from Minister of Finance. Okay. So the people will be giving appointment letters. They will be teaching. Then somewhere about 12, 24 months, mm -hmm. then they would now have their financial clearance. Okay. So then they would then put them in the system. But we have gone past all these arrangements because BNN went round mm -hmm. to audit to find out whether indeed the people were at post okay. teaching. And we, they concluded that indeed they were at post. All right. So, so they must be paid. Mm -hmm. Then you come round to say that we have gone through the, the system and therefore these people were not, they don't even have payroll history. When we have gone past that thing. So all those checks had been made? Done. So what about those that they claim were paid double? Because it says that there's a, an excess of 58,000 Ghana Madam. cities that's been paid to people who have already received Madam. their arrears. If you say people have been double paid, take their names off, pay the rest. But then, you see, that money that they may have paid to those people could have been used to offset so, but, the bill. But, 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 so, so they need time to probably that, take... That is their negligence. Okay. That is their negligence. And who must pay for it? They must be made to suffer for it. Who put together the list of teachers who were due for the arrears? I've just told you that. The list were verified by Ghana by Audit Ghana Service. Audit. Okay, okay. So, so, so at this point, what's the way forward? Because parents are worried. The public is worried. Uh, Ministry of Education is also saying that they are they shocked. Ask, they should ask GES. But what about the teachers? What, ah, Madam, what's your position? Madam, because, if you work, mm -hmm. as you sit here, at the end of the day, aren't you paid? Yeah. So for somebody to be working for 12 months, mm -hmm. 24 months, mm -hmm. without salary, yeah. is that one fair? It's not fair, I agree. I totally agree. But what about the students? What happens to them? And that's what I want to find. Because I know you're a father. Aside everything, you are also a father. And so you totally understand what it's like to have your children go to school so let them without pay them. a if teacher. If they pay their money today, tomorrow we'll go to the class. Does it mean if they don't pay, you are not going let back to the classroom? Let them pay their money. Yeah, yeah, you see, we're asking them to pay their money. When they pay today, tomorrow we will be in the classroom. 
Well, they, they said that they've asked that you give them till the end of the Christmas break. Please, to it's not. The see, that's why I'm saying that. We have two batches of the arrest. And this is the legacy one from mm -hmm. 2012 to 2016. Mm -hmm. They are saying we should give them up to 19th yeah. of December. Yeah. We are not going to do that. Why won't you? The do list that? is that ready. Let controller pay. So what if they pay on the 19th? Is that when, when are they when when they pay on nine? When are they going to work again to pay that of the uh, October 2016 to December 2018? Maybe there 2018. can be an agreement. Please, we, we, are not, we have already into... reached an agreement with them. We don't want any agreement again. They should go ahead and pay. At all? Yes. So that means that the rest of the term would go waste? I've told the GS themselves, they are saying we should not even organize any exams. You seem quite agitated Call about... Call GS and find out whether what I'm saying is true mm -hmm. or not. Mm -hmm. My information from the ground, this, this over the weekend, I was, I was in the countryside. Okay. And my information is that they have asked them not to even organize timely exams this time around. Okay. So that means that then your, your strike is valid because really if you're in school, uh, there would uh, still that, not be... The strike, as for the strike, is valid though. But parents don't think so. Parents? Yes. Oh, but parents, they have their contract with GES. Do parents have contracts with teachers? But the teachers are the ones who have to teach We the, have the contract children. with GES. Mm -hmm. The parents have contract with GES. So they should ask GES, why is that a contract with you and then you are not asking the people to, to, to teach us? Okay. So you the are class. saying that until the payments have been made, you are not going back to the classroom? That's what I've said. Even if this extends into 2020? We, we, I'm not too sure whether this will extend into 2020. Okay. You believe that there will be there, some... There will you see, the thing is ready. The data is ready. If you claim there are anomalies with those, some of them, mm -hmm. take those ones out and pay the rest. Then we know you are working. Okay. All right. So um, I've been speaking to Mr. Kwame Ahina Kwa Kwashi. Kwame, Kwame, pardon me. Kwame Ahina Kwa Kwashi. And he's the head of compensation and working conditions, Ghana National Association of Teachers. And they are insisting that if the arrears are not paid, um, they will not step back in the classroom. And so I hope that Ghana Education <laughs> Service, uh, Ministry of Education, and of course the government of Ghana, uh, they are listening and hopefully something can be done about this situation, especially because of our children. We need them, um, you know, uh, back in the classrooms as soon as possible. So thank you so much, sir, for joining me thank you. in the studios. And hopefully I'll have you back in the studios when the money has come so we can have a lighter conversation. Thank you. Where you'll be smiling even more. <laughs> now I understand you're agitated and I totally get it. Uh, but we'll find a solution. Thank you. All right. Thank so